One of the purposes of uh, the month of Ramadan is, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala articulates in the Quran, Ya ayyuladheena amanu kutiba alaykum al-siyam kama kutiba alayl ladheena min qablikum la'allakum tattaqoon. O you who believe, fasting has been prescribed upon you, like it was prescribed upon those who came before you, and the purpose of that is what? In two hours, approximately, eat as much samosa, pakore, kebabs as you can. Is that the purpose of the month of Ramadan? No, the purpose of the month of Ramadan is لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ That by the time that the month of Ramadan is finished, that you have a deep connection with Allah. That you have a deep connection with Allah, that you become people of taqwa. And that is the purpose of the month of Ramadan. And this is why that every one of us needs to assess himself. That is this month of Ramadan being something which has been spiritually uplifting for us. Have we become people who are closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Or are we, you know, generally how we ritualistically finish the month of Ramadan? We uh, don't eat, we don't drink, and don't have a relationship with the wife. Besides that, we do exactly what we normally do other than Ramadan. The purpose of the month of Ramadan is that by the time you finish, that you become people of taqwa. The not eating, not drinking is a catalyst in you becoming a people of taqwa, but that is not the ultimate purpose of the month of Ramadan. The purpose is that by the end, that you are spiritually stronger. You have a deep connection with your creator. And that means that those things which are forbidden come become forbidden to a greater degree. Eating and drinking and having a relationship with the wife is generally permitted. But in the month of Ramadan, that which is permitted becomes forbidden.